If you're switching from another CRM system, working from Excel files, or just back from a sales expo, you may find yourself with a group of new or existing contacts and needing to follow up. No worries, you can import these in bulk into one page CRM. First, click on the gear icon, then import export. Here, you can see the import options available to you. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import contacts from file. Preparation is the key. If you haven't imported before, don't worry, we provide a sample template for you to download. Or, if you have a file of your own, you can review a list of one-page CRM's default headings for you to insert. You can import 10,000 contacts at a time, but if you've got more than that amount, you'll need to do separate imports. Contacts must either have a last name or organization name in order to be imported. Make sure to keep your headings clean and up to date and remove any duplicates you may have. If you have fields on your file which do not already exist in one page CRM, you must first create a custom field before importing. A quick reminder, these can be added in the settings menu under the custom fields tab. We'd recommend to name your custom field exactly as it appears on your CSV file. And as you can see here, organization fields can also be imported. If you're using an Excel file, make sure to save it as a .csv, delimited or csv utf8. Once you've selected your file, step 2 will prompt you to map your fields. Any field names on your import file that identically match those in one page CRM will be automatically mapped. Any unrecognized fields will be highlighted in yellow for you to choose from the drop down list. You can review some contacts if you wish, or if you don't want to import a field after all, you can choose to ignore it. Review all fields, then hit next. We're almost there. Here you can choose the contact owner and status. Every contact in one page CRM must have both. If you don't have a status assigned to a contact on your import file, here's where you can choose one to apply as a default. To hit the ground running with your imported contacts, you can set tags and a next action. If there are any contacts on your file that do not have a next action assigned to them, you can assign one here. Click next and import now. When completed, you can see a history of your imported file in your import history. Plus, we'll even drop you a confirmation email. If you'd like to undo the import, you have 24 hours. Just hit the link here. And one final tip. Always review your import by opening a contact and clicking the edit section, just to make sure that all details are correct. And that's it for this tutorial. If you need some more help with your import file, please get in touch. Happy importing.